Hmm. Hey, Nastya. Nastya, do you already know? In most cases, That sounds great because first of all, working with kids, mm -hmm. you know, keeps you young and they've got that good yeah, energy and stuff. Yeah, I get stuff. a lot of energy from them. That's, That's so lovely. Yeah. And also, I guess, you know, if you, they're from a young age or what, what kind of age range do you teach? Uh, from five years old, like four or five to wow. 16 and, you know. <laughs> That's amazing. So you, you can actually have a big influence on their life. Like if they see you as a role model. Yeah, and yeah, that could happen. This is a good, safe way to go. And if it's a life choice and it's not a bad one, why not validate it? Especially if she's passionate and feels good about it. Why not help her have that feeling of goodness? I'm quite thirsty actually, you? Yeah, a little bit. All right, here we go. Cheers. And I'm just cool. You picked up. You know, I've been playing this video game recently, and I got stuck at some point. Mm. Maybe you. Cool. You were honest and didn't. I'm not that close with my mum anymore. We used to be super, super close, but not so much now. Um, but I'm very close to my cousin. Uh, he's five years younger and he's super interesting. Nice. He can play music. He does all sports, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's really good wow. at. Wow. Yeah. So he's talented, sports and music and everything. Yeah. So we have a really close relationship like brothers. So he's, oh, that's nice. Yeah. This shows a skill of handling conversations well so that they don't go down negative routes. Anytime you see that you've touched on it or if she asks a question that would lead somewhere negatively, you can answer quickly but then pivot to something more positive, keeping the emotions good and keeping the date going well. You know, I play these video games, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I watch a lot of movies and I read books. But I also think that it's very important to stay fit, yeah, so sure. I do CrossFit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, CrossFit, but you know, the thing with CrossFit is it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Because you're doing like going to the maximum and then the form goes bad by the end. And... Yeah, you know, it can happen, but I'm very careful and oh, I do good. it like different way a little bit. So not using too much weight, you know. Mm. This is true. So it's a good opportunity to challenge her and avoid, you know, boring follow up questions or compliments. So this dress, this, um, what is it? Is it like red or is it pink or what is... What do you think? I think fuchsia. Is it fuchsia? No? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Is it fuchsia? Oh, hey bro, what's this? On the house. Our oh. most premium tequila. This so is good kind stuff. Of good you. stuff. I don't think I was oh, going to drink this This on much. the house. And yeah. what is it? It's a fancy one or what? This one is a hundred dollars per shot. Oh You don't want to miss out on god. this one. It's true, it's true. No. Oh my god. All, All right, right. Well, we can't turn it down now. Cheers. Cheers. All right, ready? Yeah. You know, as a CrossFit, I actually uh, do.
But body weight exercises in your case does, does basically nothing. Does it oh. even count as exercise? It does, but uh, thank you. Yeah, cool. It's kind of playful, kind of silly and fun. It's not too much of a compliment. And so I think at this stage, it's a nice playful way to, to give a subtle compliment. Oh, you know, I feel a little bit tipsy. Yeah, those shots, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well You know, I mostly work with teenage girls mm -hmm. and I had a story with a 14 year old and uh, before coming to my uh, lessons, she knew how I was. Yeah. She got so nervous. Oh my gosh, she just kept on mixing left and right. Oh no way. She couldn't stop seriously. It took a few <laughs> hours to get chilled out, you know. Oh my God, so funny. <laughs> and by the end she was okay or she Yeah, could... yeah, but it took her a few hours, you know. So you were like, and turn to the right and she'd... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people these days would say you should never touch or something like that but obviously there's a long way to go from having a conversation to winkle inside and along the way there are all types of touches and this would be one of the earliest types that you know is not sexual and is likely to be totally fine. Do you like reading? Do you have yeah. time? Oh, okay, what's um, what's a good book you've read recently? Like, not your all-time Oh, I've film. just finished Shantaram. You read it? So what exactly did you like about it? What, what was it about that book? Well, this is a story about a guy who was a prisoner. He escaped and mm. found a shelter in India. Mm -hmm. We know India is kind of a crazy place in the yeah. world. Uh, uh, they have a lot of people where you can just uh, hide away from I say the he wasn't culture. from there. And, oh. uh, and this uh, actually is a based on a true story. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? And this guy, he faced so many crazy shit going on with him. So it was so adventurous, I must say. Oh, it sounds yeah. exciting. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a page is. turner because you want to know what happens yeah, yeah, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. All sure. right. Well, don't tell me what happens in the no. end. No, no spoilers. I'm kind of curious already. So it makes me want to yeah, read it. Yeah, do that. Do mm -hmm. so. Yep, great. This was an interesting open question that allows you to go deeper onto the subject. It's one of the keys to having good first dates. Cardi B. Nice one, much better. You know, uh, recently I'm so into health oh. and a lot Health? No, not really. I probably know more about it. Nice one, if you're... Yeah, I was telling you about my cousin earlier. Yeah, he, he's yeah. the like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy uh -huh. and I've started doing it as well. But you know what? I was thinking it's a very good martial art for a lady. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for women as well. Because it's not about, like strength matters, yeah. but when you start getting the belts, they say each belt is worth like 10 kilograms. So <gasps> if you get good at it, um, you can easily... Nastia, um, please do excuse me just for a moment. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay? sure. I'm going to check my mail. Yeah, yeah, do that. What the fuck? 
touch it, touch it, touch no. it, touch it, touch it. No. Touch it, look. You're crazy. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Hey there. I was just in Seychelles, mm -hmm. well, you know where it is, yeah. it's like the islands in yeah. the Indian Ocean and um, it was a great trip, they got like the world's most beautiful beaches, oh. lovely nature, mountains, all that stuff but there was a, a kind of dark side to it, we heard a lot of stories from the locals, like serious people, not drunk people or drug addicts, uh -huh. really serious people, businessmen and whatever. Um, we had some supernatural stories, no. some stuff goes on there that is really messed up. Like there was this guy um, who rides his uh, little canoe thing and he, oh, okay. he, he goes to different islands and he went to this island that not many people visit and he found a burial place of pirates um, where maybe they put the treasure and they put a curse for anyone that finds it uh -huh, or whatever. Uh -huh. He didn't find the treasure, but he found this beautiful stone yeah. um, and he took it back and he kept it in his house and then just things went awful for him. Like Aww. he started having bad luck and whatever that, that kind of thing that you couldn't really say is from the curse. Yeah. But then things happened and he saw it, like stuff would just fall down. He actually nearly died when um, the bookshelf, you know, stuff just fell oh. off right by him. And he was terrified, not sleeping. And I met him and he was, he was like, look, I've seen the witch doctor. And he said, I, I just need to pass the curse on to someone and then I'll be all right. And I was like, brah, look, I don't believe in this shit. <laughs> you can, like, you don't believe it, right? No, yeah, no, who would believe it? Yeah? Really. Like, I don't believe that stuff. So if you want to pass the curse on to me, uh -huh. 100 bucks, I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. So he gave me 100 bucks. Okay. And then he did, so, he said, he did something like, he looked at me and he was like, Shivarotna, Vivarot, Ratata, Brata, like that, and touched me on the head. Uh, and I guess, he, I guess that's why he passed, on, he passed on the curse to me. And I didn't believe in it, right? Like I said. Just like that, how you do it right now? Exactly like that, yeah, because I remembered so it. I've got a curse? good memory. Yeah, but don't worry about it. Don't worry <laughs> too much about it. No. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. You didn't believe so. in it. Yeah. This is a legit technique uh, from someone in London who used to go on dates, make the girl feel terrified and so that she wouldn't want to sleep alone and would stay with him. But obviously it's uh, kind of hard to pull off, super immoral and you shouldn't do it. It's such a shame you didn't help me with the game. I might oh. be stuck in this level for weeks. That's all right. Sometimes it's good to have a challenge and, you know, eventually get it. When you do do it, you'll feel even better. Remember. Mm, maybe. You know, you're just really sexy in this dress. Oh. It's just making me think okay. some dirty thoughts. <sighs> but don't listen oh. to me. I think it's the alcohol talking. Yeah, I think so. Wouldn't normally yeah. say that, but... The idea here is that anytime you say something without saying it, so you say something and blame the alcohol, say something that you said you heard someone else say and ask what she thinks of it, it lets you get away with, you know, saying things that you wouldn't normally be able to say, more sexual things. So it's a bit strange and maybe not great in this situation, but in some cases it could be okay. Cheers again. Okay. To you.
You know, I'm quite well known at the moment. Mm -hmm. Not to, you know, but because of this uh, horror seducer game, everyone kind of recognizes yeah. me and stuff. And when you're a star, let me tell you this: they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything you like. No. Look. Fucking Potus Donald. Fucking prick. Nice there, you know what? Yeah. I'm what? just visualizing right now. It's like um in my room, me handcuffed to the bed. And you just uh, banging away on top. The only people handcuffing you will be the police for harassing women. Oh, police idiot. women. Police women in uniform. Come here for a sec. Nice one, this is the way to go for the kiss. Uh, rather than asking her, you just slowly, smoothly go in, gives her the opportunity to move away if she's not up for it, or to show you subtly without a harsh rejection, and asking her just so rarely works. You know, probably we shouldn't continue all that. Why? Uh, because apparently you don't know a lot about hell. Oh, come so, on. You know, if we start, Dating. Dating, yeah, so you will be unhealthy and probably you will die soon. Die soon? Come yeah. on! <laughs> you know I'm joking. God, you had me worried for a minute then. <laughs> I'm actually quite healthy. So I think it's about that time in the evening, you know, where I should let you know. Mm. A lot of women these days are kept scared of all this, like Harvey Weinstein and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And so I just want to let you know right now, not to worry, because I've got this thing where I can't, I can't actually get an erection unless I'm in love. So I can't rape anyone. No raping. Uh, you know, talking about raping is in fun is it not like a part of a nice conversation just so you know that i wouldn't do it <laughs> sorry i gotta go bye yeah so I don't know. What's going on here? What? Look at this. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you ticklish? Hey. Take it easy. Are you ticklish though? A little bit. Mm -hmm. You? No. No, at all. Mm -mm. Wow. You can try if you want. Uh, maybe later. <laughs> no. If you keep pushing things fast, at some point it's likely that she would say no and we'd rather not have that, so it's good to back off. Also remember that you're in a bar and if you get super hot and heavy there and then suggest going home, she's going to think, okay, I know what going home means and she's more likely to say no, so better to back off a little bit. What do you think? We're about done for drinks? Or you yeah, wanna... yeah, I'm Nothing good. else? No, nothing. Right, I'm going to get the check. Sure. Raul! Yes, sir. Check, please, bro. Let me see. Here you go, Richard. Thanks, mate. Let me see. Did you have a good evening? Yes, we did. Amazing. Here you go, mate. A little tip in there for you as well. Thank you. This guy, top bloke.
Master, you know, I want you to know something. I'm very serious about women's rights oh. and the future is female Good and consent and all of these things. So with the utmost respect from the bottom of my heart and stuff, I want to um, to get your consent to come back with me. And, you know, we're just going to huh. fall around a little bit. So uh -huh. get, get your phone. Okay. We've got this new blockchain based consent app. Okay. And this is just going to make sure you're fully protected and everything is good. So it works like bump the phone. Okay. Okay. Now you need to click agree. Okay. You've done it? Yeah. Okay. And then put your phone, uh, put your phone away. Okay. That means I can do anything to you and you've already agreed. So if you change your mind, it's too late. What do you mean? Anything? Yeah, and you've agreed, and it's there. It's blockchain based, so you can't do fuck all about it. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So I'm gonna cancel. get you. How do, how I'm do gonna I cancel touch you, this? No. And I'm gonna block you with my chain. No. Why don't we go for a drink at my place, just quickly? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Mm. Oh, just uh, one or two drinks, come for an hour. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe not. I'll introduce you to my hedgehog. You've got to meet him, he's so cute. Oh, Yeah, really? little guy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah? Uh, come just quickly. Yeah, maybe just for a short time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Come. Come. Let's take your bag. Sure. Mentioning my house or my place is quite often off-putting. It's something that she's heard a lot of times from guys that she's rejected, so it's best just to avoid those common vocabulary. 